Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. I'm back with another popular e-commerce store review and today I'm doing probably my favorite store on the internet right now, Pop Your Pup, popyourpup.com. It's personalized pet products on demand and it combines the most popular niche with my favorite business model, print on demand. And I'm gonna jump into this site. I'm gonna show you exactly why you should be paying attention to it, why it's doing so well, and why it's making so much money, and also how you can replicate this brand on your own. So we're gonna go over the shoulder. I'm gonna show you all about Pop Your Pup, but first let's talk about some of the reasons why you should be following them. So Pop Your Pup, they're the leader in personalized pet products. They've been doing it for a while. They have over 8,600 verified reviews at the time of this filming. I'm sure that they're gonna get a lot more every single day, every single year. And they have legitimate press and uh, entries in great content marketing. They've done a really good job in terms of PR and outreach. And uh, you know they have a very unique set of products, right? They have personalized pet products. I'm gonna show you them. And I'm gonna show you their whole system. But really, they are very, very unique when it comes to products because they're literally designs based on the customer's pets, right? They use user-generated content perfectly. Obviously, their products are user-generated content, but also in their marketing, right? That's where they use them in all their ads. Pictures of people actually enjoying their products, and not only that, pictures of their dogs and pets enjoying their products, really, really powerful. Um, they have high-priced, high-margin products. Right? That's a huge, huge benefit um, for advertising. When you have high-priced products that have very high profit margins, you have a lot of room in advertising, and you know they have products upwards of three, four hundred dollars, sometimes even more for some of the biggest size products they have. And they do print on demand. That's why I love them so much. They do print on demand, but they have their own special, uh, own special twist on it. Um, they are very, very unique. All of their products are based on uploaded imagery from their customers, that being pictures of their pets. And uh, they have three hundred eighty thousand Instagram followers. The reason why it works so well on Instagram is because all of their, or not all, but almost all of their uh, their posts are based on user-generated content. Other posts, shares from their fans. I'm gonna show you their Instagram over here. And they just have a, a massive following here, 379,000. Obviously most of the stuff is pet, or not most, all the stuff is pet related, right? Some of this stuff is just viral pet stuff. But here is what I'm talking about in terms of their user-generated content. Nothing is gonna sell this better than, and this is a fox think and see that this is uh, one of their products canvas print and you see it's literally the exact same fox trying to do the exact same uh, pose this was probably submitted by uh, whoever bought this product and you see people literally in here asking about their products so unbelievably powerful here's another one right here's a blanket that they have right with the actual dog here's another one dog isn't in this picture but oh it's a video so the dog will probably be in this picture somewhere here you go so I mean that's unbelievable right like that's great for user-generated content, that's unbelievable. And uh, they really use that everywhere. Right, here you go, all three of them. So, uh, and these are all just different styles of uh, product that you can get from Pop Your Pup. So they have uh, um, about 100,000 fans on Facebook as well, but obviously you can see that this stuff is really, really viral for uh, Instagram because it's so visual. Here's another great one. Um, you know, not only does it, uh, is it a great example for their brand, but it's just, this is great marketing in terms of selling this actual product because they, you know, literally, it's like a, it's a spitting image right here. And it really speaks for itself in terms of um, answering questions about quality and all that other stuff. So let me show you Pop Your Pup. And uh, there's actually a bunch of different competitors that have popped up, uh, uh, no pun intended, against uh, or towards this brand. But this is the original. And you see it says, put your pet on over 100 products. So um, I'll walk you through this site in the different sections of this review, but just in general, the way that it works is you as the customer, right? and they see trusted by 150,000 customers, you as the customer upload an image of your pet, okay? Like for example, if this is your pet, you upload an image to Pop Your Pup. Okay, we could even walk through it. Pop Your Pup, their design team turns that, uh, turns that, um, uh, what do you call it? Turn, turns that, uh, uploaded image into a illustration and that illustration is then turned into in this case a $45 t-shirt now margin wise price wise it's hard to sell a t-shirt for $45 right unless you have some great brand or unless it's something where the customer is just head over heels in love 
with what's on the shirt. And there's no greater love than someone's pet, right? Maybe their kids, right? But in terms of getting a shirt, right? People are obsessed with their pet. And this is just, I just clicked on something random, right? In terms of apparel, right? Wall art is really what started being huge. Their frame canvases are a higher ticket product, but they have all of these different, they have posters, they have acrylic, they have desk canvas, they have framed canvas wraps. We could take a look starting at $130. And you know, if you look at the 30 by 40 size, it's $250. This is a print on demand product. And again, you see right here, upload your pet. So the team turns a graphic of the actual pet into an illustration and sells it for $253. This is a print on demand product with the frame, probably costs about, you know, maybe about $100, $100 shipped. So a huge margin, massive margin, selling a product that is always unique every single time because it's literally the pet. Okay, literally their pet, not, not a design, not everyone, only one person is getting this product, right? When you buy it, you're gonna upload your own pet and you're gonna get a custom personalized pet product. So that's really the, like the, you know, they're the reason why they're so big. They have the most unique product in print on demand history. And now it's, it's, you know, a lot of people are doing it, but I mean, it's, it's an unbelievably great idea. You combine the most passionate niche with print on demand and you get to boost the price up significantly. So um, the niche here is obviously pets. We're going to talk about the niche and product catalog. It's obviously pets, pet lovers, animal lovers, um, <clears throat> but more so on the pet side than on like you know, wolves or, or coyotes or stuff. You saw a wolf, but that's only because, or a, yeah, it was a wolf, I think, but, um, you know, it, it's a little bit easier, I guess, to, or a fox, I think you saw in that uh, example. I guess people have pets that are foxes, but we're not talking about wild animals. We're talking about pets here, we're talking about people that are obsessed with their pets and literally want to be a walking billboard for their pet by having it right on their chest. So it's, uh, you know, so something when, when you think about that, as the uh, overall concept for these products, you can understand why they could sell for such a high ticket. So uh, really, really nice in terms of making money. And uh, this is a super competitive niche. If you uh, saw my playlist full of uh, store reviews, I also reviewed a site called Paws.com, P-A-W-Z, and they're in the pet niche. Um, they differentiated themselves by having donations and causes fully integrated in their brand. They would donate 10% of their net profits to uh, fighting for uh, fighting against the you know uh, homeless pets or whatever like helping homeless pets what I mean right and uh, you know in this case pop your pup they've differentiated themselves in a super competitive niche by having super com uh, super unique and personalized one of a kind products so that's their special sauce right so there's plenty of different ways to go in and enter the animal pet lover niche you could just have super high end designs you could have incredibly customized personalized designs or you could have an integration based on donations and causes. So a lot of people want to enter the animal niche. It's not saturated. You just need to have a uh, you know a unique selling proposition. I just named you three different ones, but the popular pup brand is really like I said the pioneer of doing personalized pet products over here, and uh, they do print on demand, of course. So they're not going to have any inventory. They never could have any inventory anyway because literally every single product is totally custom. I like this screen right here, right? This is a great example of uh, really kind of how they started with that custom canvas art, right? And this is their main product right there. And it could sell for hundreds of dollars, but there will never be any inventory. There's never going to be any upfront cost or risk. The only time they're going to start designing a product like this is once they're already paid for it. So it's, you know, of course, a cash flow positive business, just like any other print on demand business. Every single product is fully customized by the customer uploading pictures of their pets. So there could never be any inventory up front. So if you want to replicate this brand, how do you, how can you replicate pop your pup? Or you want to come over here and, and of course, let me say never copy any of their images or graphics or words, or you want to be unique in terms of that. But if you want to replicate this concept of personalized pet products, it's pretty easy. You can do it ASAP today, right now. Uh, install shop or uh, set up Shopify, set up print on demand. Set up one of many apps that uh, offer customer upload functionality and then get a really, really great graphic designer on your team. I'll show you step by step in terms of how to get Shopify and print on demand set up totally for free. Setup.justincener.com. You see the link on your screen. You can check that out. It's just my, uh, you know, my step by step in terms of how to get Shopify to, uh, up and running. But Pop Your Pup is a massive brand. If you want to enter into a space like this, you really could do it pretty quickly and easily with Shopify. So. Uh, that's why I love Shopify so much. And, uh, you know, again, that free step-by-step -step could hopefully help you get set up. So continuing on with the review, really design and branding. Um, the designs are all a hundred, uh, you know, a thousand percent, I say custom artwork. Uh, the, the process again is the customer uploads 
a photo of their pet, right? They literally upload it to the product page um, on their pet. I'll bring this over again for the custom poster in this case. So this is just a, a thin poster, 24 by 36 for $85. Um, you know, it costs less than $20 to produce this print on demand. So you see over here, <clears throat> upload your pet. So you come over here and the customer literally comes, chooses the photo and they'll upload a photo of their, in this case, Chihuahua, okay? Next step, the Pop Your Pup uh, artist team, right? They receive the order and they receive the uh, image that was attached to the order. And then they turn that image into a illustration, right? They, they don't, um, you know, they don't create something different, right? It's literally just, a, it's, a, it's an illustrated version of the photo. The photo would be exactly this. Right. Now, obviously, this is illustrated, right? Probably in Photoshop or Illustrate or something like that, or maybe even hand drawn. I doubt that, but you know, it's basically the uh, the digital equivalent of the photo that they uploaded in an illustrated form. Right. So a graphic designer would basically recreate that. Okay. And the graphic designer doesn't have to be creative. It really, just has to be have technical skill. This is a Photoshop or an Illustrator technical skill of basically digitizing and illustrating, or some, some people call it cartoon, cartoonizing or cartoonifying, whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's just turning a photo into an illustration. Okay, and that's what the designers do in the background. So that's the second step of, of how their designs work. And then the customer approves the design. They have a, a full system. You could go to the How It Works page over here on Pop Your Pup, and uh, it will kind of walk through how the system works um, in terms of actually accepting uh, um, and then approving the design, right? So there's an, an in-between step, they approve the design. Then once the design is approved, they upload it into their fulfillment system. Pretty, you know, it's, it's literally print on demand. When they're ready to do it, they just have print on demand. You could offer any print on demand product that you would typically offer on Shopify. So you could do phone cases, you could do canvas, you could do t-shirts, you could do hoodies, uh, you could do um, blankets, you know, you could do pet shirts, you could do anything that fits onto a uh, print on demand product you could do for personalized pet products because they're just simply print on demand. And then just like all print on demand, the customer is going to receive the um, the customer is going to receive the product directly through the print on demand provider, fully white labeled. So it will have your name on it and all that stuff, your your brand name. So, uh, I mean, really, that's that's the the whole secret sauce of how it works. And that's all of their branding is around that, you know, customize your product put your pet on our product and they just literally just show other examples over and over of some of the really great products that they have. So really powerful and really just, you can't get to a page where you don't find user generated content, right? All of this is user generated content right now. You can see obviously here, this is, you know, a blanket with this uh, pet picture illustrated, right? Here's a canvas print example, right? <clears throat> they use literally the, the best way for them to show their product is to just show examples because every single one is, is, uh, is unique. So tons and tons of different products over here as, uh, as you can see. So um, going back to the review, conversion rate optimizations, right? What are they doing to make their site perform as, uh, as optimal as possible or as optimally as possible? And they really do a great job of putting trust signals in all different areas of their site. So <clears throat> first of all, right on their homepage, Tons of trust signals in terms of user-generated content. We have all these examples of their pets. And if we scroll through, uh, this is another great example, right? This illustrates exactly what the product is. And it's building trust because, you know, when, once you start to understand what the offering is, the only concern that the customer would have is, you know, are they going to do a good job of taking my photo and turning it into the illustration? They, do, they answer that question immediately right on the homepage in multiple places. Right, so it's very obvious that you know you're you're going to get a good illustration on here, and I think they know that that is probably the main consideration. So they have that right at the top, right, and then of course they go through over here and immediately get to some of the trust directly. The, you know, the entire homepage is all about trust over here. They show two hundred thousand pets popped, right, two hundred thousand pet illustrations over here. They show another piece of user generated content to make sure that the quality matches the expectation, and then Instagram to give social proof. Right. At the same time, they also make it incredibly easy to get support. Right. They have chat support. They show how many reviews, verified reviews over here. They have a nice little uh, um, integration with that. And obviously this updates automatically when they get more judge.me reviews. They have a customer reviews page on the footer as well. This goes into a massive list of all of their photo reviews. Again, user generated content 
is the most powerful part of their brand because their products are so unique and you just really need to answer that question. Is it going to come out as good as I hope it is? And you see, especially the times where the dog is literally right next to the product or the cat is right next to the product, you see just how high quality uh, these products are, right? That looks great. So uh, they do a great job. They make it easy to feel like you're trusting them, right? They really do. And uh, it's just, it's everywhere, right? You can't, you can't get away from the idea of, um, you know, they are, uh, they're definitely, you know, here to, um, they're, you know, they're here to basically help, okay? They're here to sell, obviously, but they want you to feel like they're here to help. Another thing that I think they're, uh, a cool thing that they're doing for conversion rate optimization, this is similar to um, what I was talking about before in terms of integrating donations and causes. They know that people that are on this site love animals, love pets. So they have a feed five shelter animals a uh, little donation thing where you could either check this or not. Um, and you see it's a little broken heart if you uncheck it. So it's a $3.99 upsell. I'm not sure if it's going to be 100% donated or not. They're, they're not really clear with it. But either way, it's making a connection between the brand to some goodwill. And that obviously, you know, they know their audience. And anyone who loves pets, of course, loves, um, you know, hearing that shelter animals are going to get fed. So it's an easy upsell there. And it's an easy um, positive brand connotation because of that uh, donations and causes. And then obviously, um, you know, their, uh, I think the biggest thing is their upload functionality where you can come over here and literally uh, uh, choose to upload an image. You go and select it from your desktop and it's that easy. You can do it on your phone as well. Um, you know, they make it incredibly easy over here. There's even some upsells depending on how many pets. If you want to have multiple pets in the image, you see if there's multiple pets over here, they can make $15 extra just for having multiple pets in the image. It's going to be, uh, you know, I guess a little bit more work for the designer, but either way. Um, a nice way to get extra money on the uh, same transaction here with these two upsells right in line um, and right before the upload your pet section. So uh, pay attention to that kind of stuff in terms of where they're, uh, they're looking to upsell, right? These people are looking to upsell, pop your pup, I should say, is looking to upsell really early, right before you even add to cart. So uh, another thing that, uh, you know, you could see in the, uh, in the back end of this um, and uh, you could basically be a customer if you want to find this or you can take a look at their how it works video um, and and really you know the idea here is that there's a customized back end there's a custom I'm going to play show you the little part of the video in a second there's a customized back end in the uh, in the customer area that literally you could log into once you get your order and this is their uh, how it works video you see there's 67,000 views over here and you basically it says viewing your pop art so you're going to log in to their system and there are ways to replicate this with Shopify this is a pretty custom system that they've built because they are you know they've been doing this for a while and they uh, obviously thought it would be worthwhile to just basically develop their own system you're probably not going to do that until you start making a lot of money off of this brand so you need to find other ways to replicate that but the idea here as you see is you have a little area to go and preview how it's going to look so the designer will once they finish with your design, they'll upload it into your customer area and then you could approve it. So the customer is able to approve the artwork and then choose the background as well, right? You can see that they're gonna click through over here and see different options of backgrounds. This is a fully custom system, right? This is really, and you know, one could argue that this is not all required, especially not when you're just getting started in this brand, right? You don't need to give them all of these different options, right? You don't need to give them a custom backend. There are other tools that you can use. <clears throat> I think this is really one of the most uh, profitable business models out there. So it's worth digging to kind of find the different solutions that are out there. You don't have to build something custom just like this. But you see, Pop Your Pup, they do it incredibly well, where you could either approve or you could even go and request edits right there. So again, you got to find other options to replicate that if you want to build this on your own. But it's, uh, like I said, it's worth your time to find them because it really is, um, you know, it is doable with Shopify for sure. So how does Pop Your Pup increase profit? Well, they upcharge for more pets. I showed you that just now. They have related products on every single page. Uh, and, you know, very, very important, I think, because, you know, this, this is something that could be an easy gift. This could be something that it's an easy multiple in terms of you're buying quantity three, quantity four, quantity five, quantity 10 for your entire family, right? Uh, this could be something where you have, um, uh, uh, let's say you're in the holiday season, you have a huge list of people you need to buy gifts for. Um, this could be an easy thing to uh, check off your list and just literally buy a gift for a pet lover in your family. You might have five, you might have six, you might have 10 on your list, right? So gifts, related products, very, very important. You see that they're on every single page. They, they actually show it in a couple different ways in the related products. Here's another print on demand unique product, a $100 backpack. So you see related products, you see recently viewed products. You also see products shown here 
in their reviews. So um, again, the products speak for themselves here. They really sell the product. So that's why they have to show them uh, everywhere. Uh, upsell, they have two upsells actually. So you could, uh, what they call, add some extra pop. That means uh, basically you'll get the digital proof. And by the way, it costs them zero dollars and zero cents to sell you this, but they're gonna charge you $15 to get the digital proof, basically just a digital file of the design file. And um, <clears throat> there's also other upsells in there as well. User-generated content, right? Nonstop use of uh, UGC in social media. Um, what they're doing is painting the picture that the, del the brand delivers the high quality product that people are gonna love. And this answers, you know, that subconscious question that everyone has about this brand. Um, you know, uh, are they gonna deliver a good product? Is the illustration gonna come out good? Um, you know, is it gonna actually look like my pet? And uh, another really awesome thing is they have a one page checkout. They fully customize their checkout. Bunch of different ways to do that with Shopify. And um, that obviously takes it down from three steps all the way to one. Uh, on a single page checkout. So that without a doubt increases conversion rate, therefore increasing profit for them. So uh, what is Pop Your Pup's special sauce? Well, they took print on demand and they did something new, right? Here's a print on demand t-shirt. Here's a print on demand t-shirt, print on demand t-shirt, t-shirt, phone case, t-shirt, right? We could just click through all these. Print on demand backpack, print on demand ladies cut, print on demand fleece blanket, print on demand mug. Right, you know that mugs cost you know three to five dollars on print on demand. They're selling it for thirty five bucks. So they're having a ten x margin over here. Yes, they have to have a designer design it, but there's plenty of room to do that when you're making ten x margin on your product uh, for these mugs. Right, posters they could cost you know somewhere between seven and twenty dollars depending on the size. They're selling them for forty five bucks. Right, the the secret sauce is that they're selling print on demand products where the design features the thing that their customers are a million percent guaranteed to love their pets, right? It's, you know, it's the best use of personalization and print on demand featuring this super popular niche, pets, animal lovers, right? Um, they really, they pioneered it. They have a fully customized system that you kind of saw over there in that video. You could upload imagery, manage artwork, track the order, and they simply capitalized on a super passionate niche. You could do the same, right? It's obviously a lot more crowded now. In terms of this, they're not the only people doing personalized pet products, but I think especially during a holiday season, this has the opportunity to uh, have a super high average order value, make a lot of money per sale, and therefore be able to make a lot of money through paid ads. So this is definitely something that uh, you really want to investigate and check out and consider running this. Because remember, people love their pets. Um, people are already buying random pet lover t-shirts, right? Cat stores. Um, you know, you just saw paws.com. If you haven't seen my review on that, take a look at my YouTube channel. Um, a massive store massive store where they just have basic print uh, print on demand designs of animals not uh, personalized to anyone at all so these are personalized pet products this is a massive winning idea and one that you could implement pretty easily and uh, again i got that setup.justinsener.com totally free video for uh, you to check out so um, if you want me to review your store i should do this as a service i send you about a 20 minute video of me reviewing your entire store you can check it out on this big link on your screen reviews.justinsener Dot com. Let me review your entire store. I know I can make some pretty drastic improvements to uh, stores of any level. But uh, really, I hope this video helped you uh, kind of understand what's working out here in the personalized pet product niche. Um, I got an entire playlist full of popular e-commerce store reviews. So please take a look. Please give me a subscribe on my YouTube channel. I promise it's going to be well worth it. You're going to learn a lot of different ways to make money through my channel and uh, really try to stay as active as possible over here on YouTube. So if you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to post a comment directly below this video. I'll do my best to uh, literally answer as many as I can. So if you have any questions about what you saw here, if you have any questions about my review service or personalized pets or Shopify or whatever, go ahead and post a comment. And like I said, I'll do my best to answer as many as I can. So I hope this really helps you make some money. Please again, give me a subscribe on my channel and I'll talk to you real soon with another Shopify store review.